this episode of Bondi Vet. Chris comes to the rescue of two runaway brothers. Barry seeks loving new home. Uh, closer transport. Can this sick three-week-old kitten survive without a mother? He was so lucky to be found. I don't know if he would have lasted another few hours out there. And a night of drama at Sash, fighting bushfires and snake bites. The longer she's in this coma, the less chance she's got. On the way to Maroopa Police Station, we just had a call that a dog's been hit by a car. Sounds like quite a young dog, a puppy. It's bleeding from its nose. That's really all we know at this stage. We're not the best place for an illegal U-turn in front of a police station. I don't understand. Hi, how are you? Can we go in here? Is that yeah, sure. So what's happened? He was hit by a car. Yeah. Um, he was coughing when he came in and he's got a bit of a bloody nose. Okay. The injured puppy was found with his brother on the side of the road. Fortunately, the other boxer is unharmed. They looked pretty sad and miserable. We don't know how long they've been out there on their own, so it's pretty sad to know that two little puppies have been roaming the streets. <laughs> So this is what he's bringing up here, and it is, it is tinged with blood, so he's, my feeling is he certainly aspirated some, some blood, either through the trauma or as a result of the bleeding going down into his airway, so that is a bit of a worry. And getting released from the station. No charges. Let's go. Any names that you've been giving him? No, we haven't named him yet. Okay. No. All right. Okay, well, I'll, um, I'll let you know how we go. Okay. But thanks, thanks for doing what you've done, it's great. Okay. At Sash, a major bushfire is burning, only 100 metres from the hospital. Catherine and Barry had to get through roadblocks to bring in their critically ill pet. She's been bitten by a snake, she's collapsed suddenly, she's having difficulty breathing, she might need to be ventilated. 14-month-old Dora has now slipped into a coma. What worries me is that she's actually not waking up and I'm concerned about her brain function. Dora is just clinging to life, but she did kill the snake before collapsing. As Catherine walked around in the backyard, it was right in the middle of the yard and it was, it was a black snake and I was dead. And huge. Just quite heartbreaking at the moment, but you know, just trying to Stay a bit upbeat and think, you know, she's if she can kill that snake, she can do anything. I think. The snake venom is attacking Dora's system. So the most important part about treating a snake bite is that you need to get the anti-venom into the animal straight away because you want to try and stop the venom before it binds to the tissues and has any more disastrous effects. I don't know if Dora's going to make it. All we can do is wait for the anti-venom to start doing its job. We have to monitor her very closely and hope that she wakes up because the longer she's in this coma, the less chance she's got. After midnight, when Chris arrives back at the Bondi Clinic. But you didn't expect anyone to end up like this, did you, huh? That makes the three of us. What have you guys been up to, huh? You gonna come clean? <laughs> hey? It's been an invention, hasn't it? Wow. So he's got a tapeworm. Ooh. This has dropped out here. Wow. Alright, his temperature is normal. But the only normal thing about this case. 
what I'd like to do is take an x-ray. Mm -hmm. I just want to check out his chest and just see where this blood's coming from. Because sure. if that continues and builds up, then he's going to have some real trouble breathing. Yeah. Everybody, I'm just going to leave you for a second, all right? X-ray. So he certainly does have some blood around the, the base of his of his heart there, and, and that's what he's trying to bring up when he, when he does that coughing effort. The plan for him right now really has to be to trying to reverse these signs we're seeing now. We have to really stop any potential future blood loss into that chest of his, and then secondarily, try to replace the fluid that he has lost through the blood. So we're gonna give him a drug to stop the bleeding, and then put him on some fluids as well. If we can do all of those things tonight, then hopefully we'll see a different dog in the morning. He just shouldn't look like this. Dora's still in a coma. Lisa's allowing her owners, Catherine and Barry, to come in and see her, but only for a few moments. She does respond to your touch. At home, Barry and Catherine's five children are waiting for news. A soft toy sent in from their youngest child is placed next to Dora to comfort her. I'd like to sit here all night with Gonna her. Get a bed next to I won't sleep. Okay. Okay, so any change you'll obviously Thanks. ring us? Yeah. yeah. I won't be sleeping anyway. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Yeah, you, know, you just have that big stone in your heart. It's just horrible when you are not sure what the outcome will be. Like, that's the heartbreaking thing, I think, is that this stage, it can go either way. Outside, firemen are winning the battle against the bushfires. And as Catherine and Barry get ready to leave, there's suddenly an unexpected breakthrough for Dora. Good girl. Look at you. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Dora. Dora. Oh, that's amazing. I'm going to go get them. I just can't believe this, I really can't. She's away! Oh my god. She is seriously away. Are you serious? She's looking around. <laughs> you won't believe it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. You're the brave girl. <laughs> Who killed the big snake? <laughs> Who killed the big snake? I've got the shakes. Such a quick recovery. I don't think I've seen one quite like this. You're being demoted to a cage. That is good news. There is no doubt that this has been a miraculous recovery, but Dora is not out of danger yet. When I go, I'm just going to have to walk away. Yeah. Walk away and we're here with her. That's OK. Is the tail waking? I'm not looking. The problem with snake bites is that they cause internal bleeding and muscle breakdown, which can lead to kidney failure. So Dora needs to spend a lot more time with us in hospital before we can work out exactly what damage that snake has done to her. If we could choose between winning Lotto and having Dora back, I'd have to turn down the Lotto, sorry. <laughs> Next day, Chris is in early to check on the two boxer pups he rescued last night from the Maroubra police station. No more coughing, it's good. It's very good. You might be getting better. We don't know who you belong to and we don't know your names. So, what we need to sort out is who you are. So I was thinking, Bruce and Barry. The bad boys from the bra. How about that? Oh, Bruce, you're with it now, are you? Jeez, do you get the feeling they're hungry? 
it does make you wonder how long they have been roaming the streets. After breakfast, hit run victim Barry has recovered enough to head outside for some fresh air with his brother. Been a little bit of wriggling going on, which tells me that we may have had some improvement. It's obviously sad that these two pups now are essentially orphans. I mean, there could very well be a family out there that's heartbroken, but because they don't have microchips, there's just no way of being able to track them down. I would just hate the idea of these two brothers ending up in an animal shelter and being split up. So we're gonna do everything we can to stop that from happening. But Barry and Bruce aren't the only orphans looking for shelter at the clinic today. Open up. Good boy. A malnourished three-week-old kitten has been brought in after being dumped on the streets of Bondi. Bondi Junction Vet Hospital, this is Ali. Ali, one of the vet students who lives at the clinic, has volunteered to be his temporary mum. I think he's very sick. Oh, he's full of worms, probably got a bit of cat flu. He's problems with his eyes, he's missing a fair bit of fur and he's very underweight. Yeah, he was so lucky to be found. I don't know if he would have lasted another few hours out there. So, I need a lot of TLC to get him back on track. We've got him Jupiter because he looks like a bit of an alien. <laughs> Jupiter's being treated for all of his health issues. Here we go. Now Ali's decided the bedraggled stray needs his first bath. Very smelly. Sweetie. Good boy. You do look at them and just think they're so vulnerable. Like this kitten would still be with his mum feeding every few hours and he'd still have a whole litter of siblings and have all that attention all the time. Squeaky clean. <laughs> Might give him a bit of a blow dry. Jupiter will now require round the clock feeds and medication to make sure he survives his tough start to life. Actually, everyone in the clinic, bar me, thinks it's hideous, but I think it's perfect. <laughs> so adorable. They've never had a bath before. You can smell that. Yeah. At Bondi Clinic, Barry and Bruce are getting a makeover. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> Don't eat the soap. They seem to be really relishing every touch they get. It makes you wonder whether they really ever had much of it. Sadly, no one has claimed the Stray Brothers. You don't look so tough right now, Barry. <laughs> but Chris has a plan. Brucey. It's not bad, buddy. Look at that. Need the hard sell on these boys, Neil. I know we're going to get him the home somehow, like hook or by crook. Yeah, it can't be too hard. Look at that. Oh, no, a face like that, who's going to say no? Well, who can say no to a bad boy, huh? I can't say no to a bad boy. <laughs> you can send the emails now, are you? Barry seeks loving new home. Uh, close to transport. We'll find a home for them. You've got to think it. It has to be a good home. <laughs> I'm confident we'll get something. Hey, little darling girl, look at you. Oh my god. It's 12 goodness. hours since Dora arrived at Sash in a coma after being bitten by a snake. You're a lucky girl. Yeah, you know how lucky you are. I don't think you realise. Despite regaining consciousness, the venom left in Dora's system is still breaking down her muscles. It's not the news owner Catherine wanted to hear. So this has really knocked her system around and she's still a very sick little thing, so... She's, yeah, she's still got a way to go, so I don't want you to get your hopes up, but she has made some really good progress. Oh, who's a good girl? She's still really, really sick. And so it's quite sad to see her obviously in so much pain. I'm gonna kiss you some more. Oh, okay. A little grunt. Okay, I'm just gonna pop her in the bed. Upstairs at her home above the Bondi Clinic, 
Ali is playing with a much improved Jupiter. When he came in, he was just so lethargic and could barely even lift his little head. Now he's so unbelievably affectionate. He just purrs non-stop, he's so playful. Every single new person or toy he finds, he just wants to play non-stop. <laughs> Got a, uh, a house call to go to, but it's not a, a big trip. In fact, it's not really a house call, it's more of a, I don't need that, more of an in-house call. Ali. It's time for Chris to give Jupiter his daily Allie, antibiotics. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> charge your mileage for this, you know. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. <laughs> That's alright. Hello, little man. How are you? It's talked about cat pound for pound. In Bondo, aren't you? The kitten's eyes are nearly healed. His fur is starting to grow back, and the worm treatments are slowly winning. A lot of kittens only have their eyes opening at around two weeks of age. So for him to come in at three weeks and meet Ali, who cares for him all night and all day, he's probably pretty entitled to think that Ali's mum. I'm definitely falling for him. I don't know how easy it'll be to give him up when it comes time for adoption. I'd love to keep him. I don't think it's very hard to see that Ali's become incredibly attached to Jupiter. <laughs> if you had to ask me whether Jupiter might become a, a permanent resident here. I'd say it, it's not so much a chance, it, it's more of a formality. We've got some big news, all right? Hmm? Some very exciting news, some happy news. <laughs> it's a big day for Bruce and Barry. You're going to say, hi, Bruce. <laughs> Chris's campaign hi, Bruce. to find them doing? new owners has worked. <laughs> but they will be going their separate ways. This is going to be tough. It's going to be tough on them. It's going to be a little bit tough on me too. Oh, hi, Dougie. <laughs> Hello. 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 There's Bruce. Hi. And his brother, Barry. Bruce, Bruce is being adopted well. by Nick, May, and their daughter, Priya. He's gorgeous. I would have loved to have found Bruce and Barry the one home so they could stay together and be brothers forever. But the reality is two boxes in the one house would be more than a handful, but we have two Separate homes, both very loving families. They'll be happy. So bye, Priya. Bye, bye. Bye, bye Priya. Thank you. Left out, Barry. We haven't forgotten about you. Barry, don't look so sad. It's going to be okay, mate. You've got a very special home too. Just one important thing. Always respect your elders, okay? Oh, Look! Hello. Hi Adrian, how are you? Good, thank Good to you. see oh. you. It's Barry! Hi Barry, hello! Barry, meet Tosca. I think it's going to be good for Tosca. She was been moping a lot, and uh, so now I think she's got a companion. It has been a big day, saying goodbye to Bruce and now to Barry and you can't help but start to connect with them. You can't adopt them all. Otherwise I'd have about 400. Oh. Yes, what? Look at home. Dora has won her battle against the effects of a snake bite. Oh. Oh. Let's see you. Oh. And the whole family, including her canine buddy Dixon, have arrived at Sash to collect her. I have never discharged a dog to that many people at one time. It was nothing like I've ever seen before, but there was a lot of love. I don't know, it just feels so good to have him here with us again. Everyone, so strict instructions. Dora yep. has to rest now for two weeks. Yep. So no playing, no snake catching. <laughs> Dixon, snake catching. you got to keep her quiet too. <laughs> yes. Oh, good girl. Yeah. yeah, good girl. Okay, you get better Sorry. now. As for Ali, she's made her decision. It's probably nearing the time where I'd normally be put up for adoption, but he's my little man, and there's no way I could ever let him go. Such a strange little kitten, but he's such a sweetie. He's like a wise little old man trapped in a kitten's body. 
this little man has stolen my heart completely. Hello. Hello. Who's that? Hello. Hello. Hey, nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Adrian. Yeah. And two weeks later, Bruce and Barry have got together for a play date. Yeah. Oh, oh so look, cadus. They're giving each other cadus. <laughs> it's clear to see the brothers will never forget each other. Oh, are we ever going to get these guys back? I know. Perfect. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Kate, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen for more great content. And for free, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, you can sign up to bondipet.com, and you can do so via the link in the description.